Hi, welcome to this episode of Cook and Chat with the Bellas. I am your host, Funke Bella, aka Mrs. Fabulous, aka Fabulous Funky, the one and only wife of MC Tunde Bella. Welcome to my kitchen. If this is your first time here, welcome! <laughs> And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you for coming back. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, today on this episode, I have a very, 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 very special guest in the kitchen. I bet you cannot wait to meet her. This is a very special episode. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, neighbors, aunties, uncles, grandpas, grandmas, everybody jam your hands together as we welcome Mommy Lara. <laughs> Hello. You're welcome you? to the show. Thank you very much for having Thank me. Thank you around. for coming. Thank it's you so much. Eshegonima. Thank you so much, It's ma. a great pleasure to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mommy Lara as we like to call her. Mommy Lara, can you please introduce yourself to our audience, especially the people that are meeting you for the first time? Okay, my name is Mommy Lara. Oh, Lara Alabi. <laughs> <laughs> you see, people call me Mommy Lara, and I'm so used to being called Mommy Lara. I'm Lara Alabi, and I come from Tim Smith. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, Mommy Lara is my mommy, one of my many mommies. <laughs> if you're Nigerian, you'd understand that. But Mommy Lara is my auntie, and Mommy Lara is a retired radiographer. Can you see? Can you see where we're coming from here? Mommy Lara is a retired radiographer, and she's been retired for a couple of years now, but she's nowhere near tired. Mommy Lara is nowhere near tired. In fact, as a matter of fact, Mommy Lara started the Seniors in Touch. Hence, I've got my t-shirt on today because I'm a volunteer for Seniors in Touch. She started Seniors in Touch when she retired. Beat that. When she retired, she had this initiative and she ran with it. And hundreds of people are benefiting from the service she is offering. Mommy Lara, well done. Thank you very much. Well done for putting together SIT. I'll put the website much. to SIT. I'll put it up here and I'll also put it in the description box so you can contact SIT from anywhere in the world. If you're over 50, yes <laughs> sorry youngsters if you're over 50 they are there to support you through covid through whatever support you need loneliness isolation. getting isolation yeah. there are services out there you just need to know how to get them so sit is one of them and mommy lara is the director of sit she's the brains behind sit and she's here in the kitchen today you know, mini me has the benefit of having Mo Mommy Lara in my kitchen cooking and sharing also. Can we please give Mommy Lara a round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy Lara, so what would you be cooking for us today in the kitchen? Thank you very much, Funke, for that great and beautiful introduction. <laughs> I'm always very proud of you. Thank you, Mommy. And I'm happy to be associated with you. Thank you. Um, today we're going to cook akara. We're going to make akara. Bean balls as some people call it. Mm -hmm. It's made from beans and very nutritious, mm -hmm. full of protein, mm -hmm. good for the digestive system because it contains a lot of fiber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. So ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know how to make akara or if you know how to make akara and you're looking for an easier technique quicker. a quicker way something you can just do like this it doesn't have to be only saturday morning you can do it on a friday evening you can do it in the evening it doesn't take too much to make a car mommy lara will show us 
hints and tips, steps to how we can get the perfect Akara ball to wow your family and friends. Okay, so Mommy Lara, to make our Akara, can you please go over the ingredients? What are the things that we need to make the perfect Akara? Thank Please. you very much. The major thing that we need is beans. beans. This is split beans. Uh, it's from black-eyed beans and the skin has been removed. Mm -hmm. And we're going to need some red pepper mm -hmm. and some scotch bonnet, scotch pepper, bonnet well. pepper yeah. to flavor. All these are to flavor. Some mm -hmm. onions and also some spring onions mm -hmm. to bring some color to the to the white side of the beans and we need some salt too some salt for seasoning so mm. we don't need that so we don't really need much we don't need much, much ingredients, ingredients to, to make, to make akara. akara and it's something you can make within one hour let me say yeah within so it's something you can make quickly akara. it's not that difficult to make so mm. she will show us just stay with us ladies and gentlemen stay with us this is why you're here to watch her make this akara don't worry at the end, I will share the akara with you. you I won't be taste. the <laughs> I won't be the only one eating the akara. So, Mami Lara, can you please show us what do we do first to make uh, the akara? Yeah, the first thing is to soak the beans okay. in warm in warm water for about at least one hour. Okay. Because you want it to be very soft for blending. You don't okay. want to just I mean, damage your blender. Yeah. So yeah. you want to be it, it to be very soft. soft. And then we'll uh, blend one of this red pepper with. The beans, the beans. Mm -hmm. blend the small onion with the beans, mm -hmm. but we'll chop the other pepper mm -hmm. and the other onion, especially the spring onions, to mix with the akara when it's done. We have to blend the red bonnet pepper too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll soak the beans now and we'll move on. Yeah, we're going to soak the beans and move on. Okay, okay so our beans, they've been soaking for one hour. Now they're nice and, and, and they're washed. Now they're nice and soft and ready, ready. to be blended. So we'll blend this off camera. If you would like to see a video where I go through the process of blending beans, it will be up here or in the description box. So you can feel free to watch it later, but we'll, we'll blend it and then we'll come back with the blended. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we've now finished blending our beans and we've got the beans right here. And it's nice and smooth and you don't want to make your blended beans for Akara too watery, not like moi moi beans. It needs mm. to be thicker than moi moi beans. And this has is to be thick, not con too watery. Yeah. Okay? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so next thing we're going to do now, mommy. We're going to whisk. We're going to start whisking our, our akara beans. The whisking is to make it fluffy, to get some air into the beans. Mm. Whisking. Keep whisking for about three to five minutes. Okay, so we're, we're done whisking the akara butter. It's important to mix it up nicely, mommy, isn't it? Yeah. Normally in the old days, we'll use a wooden spoon and mix, mix, mix. But thank God for technology, we can use, we, we, we whisked it for about three minutes with the handheld mixer and we're going to move on now. Yeah. It? Okay, so next we're nice. going to add the, so we chopped up the remaining onion and the spring onion and, and the, the bell. red bell pepper and we're just going to add it into our mix now. You can see the beautiful colors of the chopped onions and red pepper just to garnish the akara okay yeah. so we mix again yeah just mix everything together and add some but salt. while we're mixing we've already preheated the oil so we add some salt mm. okay. okay and then we mix so mommy while we're, while we're mixing, can you please tell our audience at home something, tell us something about sit. What brought Ooh. up the idea of sit, please? Before we start frying the akara, because I know once we start frying this akara, that's the end. <laughs> but, mommy, can you please tell us what is sit all about? 
as my t-shirt says seniors in touch what sit. brought up the idea and what is it about yeah sit is a is is sit is the acronym for seniors in touch mm -hmm. and seniors in touch is a it's an exercise and lunch club mm -hmm. for the over 50s mm -hmm. our aim is to reduce loneliness and social isolation in this people group because mm -hmm. we discover that some of them for one reason or the other they are at home and they feel so lonely mm -hmm. no, no but nothing to do nothing to talk about mm -hmm. some are getting over some illnesses and some uh, or even after operation some are bereaved mm -hmm. some have one problem or the other and we just thought it's an idea to bring people together to socialize, mm. to interact, mm. and to share experiences with each other. We also thought that older people at times find it so difficult to cook, especially when they are the only one living at home. Mm. I mean, you find it so difficult to go to the kitchen, do all the cooking, and you are the only one to sit and eat. Mm. So we just you just sit down there and eat whatever is available yeah. at home. So we feel that coming together and having lunch together with other people outside home is another way of improving your mental health. And, and it's a brilliant way of improving your mental health. And we're all for pro building support, building community, and building people, helping people get through life. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. what it yeah. is. So we'll that have a quick it. look at the oil now. The, the oil is ready. The oil is warm enough now. So we're going to start the frying process. So our oil is hot. We're going to start the frying process and we're using a, an ice cream scoop to scoop our carabata into the oil. So when the akara is nice and brown, golden brown, like this, it's ready to on both sides. It's yeah, ready on to, both sides. So we'll just take them out onto paper to soak up the ex excess oil. We don't want it to go and block our heart. So we'll soak <laughs> up the excess oil in here. You can yeah. see the golden brown akara. Lovely. Yummy. That's another one. They are ready. Mm. It looks delicious. I can't wait to eat this akara. I feel like maybe I should eat it with bread, bread, agege bread, or ogi. That's a proper Saturday morning meal, isn't it, mommy? It is. Ogi and nothing, and akara. Is, nothing is as delicious as the akara crumbs. <laughs> yeah. Akara crumbs. That's what we used to eat at as children when we were much younger. You can I see it. Golden, golden brown. Looks delicious. It looks yeah. delicious. Yeah. And I've tasted one already. It tastes absolutely delicious. <laughs> Mommy, you were saying earlier that you have to fry your akara in a deep deep fryer. Deep fryer. Deep, so you can't use your regular pan. frying pan. You have to use like a deep wok like we use or a deep something deep it has to be deeply fried and make sure you have enough oil you need lots of oil yeah. to achieve this beautiful looking akara like this
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, look, we're done. Our yummy, yummy, yummy akara is now ready. And we've teamed it up with ogi, which some people call pap or akamu. You can team your akara up with agege bread or gari. Uh, or you can just eat snack. akara on its own. Summer with body loading tea, things. Coffee. You know, you don't want the carbs. You just want to stick to the protein and that's perfect. And so thank you so much, mommy. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank mommy you. Lara, before I let you go, can you please tell our audience one thing, one phrase, one statement, something that's kept you going, something that's helped you over the years to achieve your dreams? Because you're such an inspiration to all of us, apart from the fact that you achieve so much even in retirement. There must be something in you that you would like to share with all of us, please. Um, I just want to share that. Let us all know that we have been sent for an assignment. Each person is created for a purpose. You cannot do my own assignment and I cannot do yours. Mm. Be focused, understand what God has assigned for you to do mm. and stick to it. And stick to it. But then There's no day. point mm. being jealous or being envious of another person. Mm. God knows you. He has put all what you need inside of you mm. to achieve the purpose that yes. he has created you for. And that is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Maxwell said it, we have to achieve our purpose mm -hmm. so that God will be happy with us. That is brilliant advice, mommy. Thank you so much. You can't do mine, I can't do yours. Let's just do us. Do you, do your makeup, do your, if it's hair, yeah, you're called to do. Do hair, do makeup. If it's fashion designing, like my fruitful fingers, do it. Whatever it is, God has called you to do. And if it's MC, like MC Tunde, be like, hello just do it do that thing that god has called you to do thank you so much mommy thank you for the great advice the great cooking and the great time we've had a lovely time with you this afternoon thank you so much thank you for thank having you. me thank you ma. god bless you thank you ma. thank you ma. thank you so much ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching if you're not subscribed to our channel yet i don't understand what you're waiting for ask yourself why and if you like this video, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, say something nice to mommy, feel free. We would appreciate it. We would love to read your comments. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. Mommy, let's dig in. Oh, because... oh. no, let's dig in. <laughs> I'm not even using fork. I am doing this too. Mm. 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 Yummy. Mm -mm. Mm. 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 Wow. That's, that's, nice. that's my favorite. Mm. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry. Bye. <laughs>